Hello fellow Sengoku Basara fans and welcome to the first video of my new series called Character Ranked List. So here we have my number 40, my least favorite character which is Hideaki Kobayakawa. So let's look at this guy. So Hideaki's theme is like food and uh, ridiculousness. So first of all, let's talk about his appearance, okay? So Hideaki is uh, quite short <laughs> in comparison to others. And uh, the interesting thing is that he's actually not fat. Because you know, like his main gimmick is eating food, so you would expect him to be really fat guy, but no, he's only kinda chubby. And if you think about this, uh, there's no no fat character in Sengoku Basara whatsoever. So that's that's really interesting because whenever you have a game with such a huge character roster, there's always some fat guy. So yeah, it's, it's actually pretty interesting. I, I'm not complaining, I usually don't play as fat guys, I don't usually like them because they are not very cool and I like my characters cool. So yeah. Uh, now, about his uh, costume. So Hideaki, he looks like some kind of buck, yeah, that's how I would call him, he looks like a buck, uh, which, you know, it's, it's actually pretty funny, I gotta say, uh, and plus, usually when character looks like some type of animal, it's usually pretty cool. You know, so yeah, I certainly do not mind that Hideaki looks like some kind of bug. Okay, and about colors of his like uh, of his costume, uh, they remind me of Autumn totally. After all, Hideaki is called Autumn Knight of Ignorance, if I'm not mistaken. At least he was in Sengoku Basara three. So yeah, uh, I definitely like autumn aesthetics, they are really cool, and yeah, that's pretty much everything that I gotta say about Hideaki Kobayakawa. Oh, one, uh, one cool thing about Hideaki Kobayakawa, I was like looking at his, at his picture and uh, in a great detail if you observe it, then you come to realization that Hideaki actually has gray eyes, you know, so that's that's really cool. You know, it's it's, it's not really visible in, in game itself, but it's true, Hideaki has gray eyes. Go check for yourself. Okay, so that's Hideaki's appearance. So Hideaki's appearance is definitely not what what uh, I dislike about him. Uh, so now let's talk about his personality. Now Hideaki is a coward. He doesn't like to fight, he does not like conflict. Uh, but unfortunately for him he lives in the Sengoku Basara world, which is one big conflict. <laughs> okay, so he has, no, he has no choice but to fight somehow. <laughs> And yeah, uh, but if I were to say that Hideaki is just a coward who's constantly afraid, then I would definitely uh, be forgetting something. And that is the fact that Hideaki is quite nice and caring person. You know, when Akechi Mitsuhide was on the verge of that, Hideaki invited him to his home despite being totally afraid of him uh, he you know feed him and he gave him a new home so yeah that's uh, that's also something that we should not forget 
that Hideaki is actually a really, really nice guy. And he he does not deserve to suffer on the battlefield. You know? So yeah, it's, uh, it's Hideaki's, that's Hideaki's personality pretty much. You know? And yeah, I don't think that I forgot anything. So now that we covered his personality and his his appearance, let's switch to something that really matters, at least in this in this list, because that's that's what's most important for me in this list, and that's gameplay aspect of each each character. So gameplay wise oh i was never really good at this <laughs> uh gameplay wise uh hideaki is kind of funny to look at you know basically his whole moveset is one big gag you know that is supposed to make you laugh obviously hideaki is like this uh, comedic relief character you know so so it's totally understandable uh, but I gotta say that it's kinda drag to play as him. I don't enjoy his skills, I don't enjoy his abilities. Uh, it's just not my thing, you know. I'm, I'm not really into these comedic relief guys. Uh, so, but that's just my personal taste, okay? Uh, if I were to be a little bit too. a little bit well objective then I need to mention this one aspect of Hideaki Kobayakawa and that is that he is basically immortal <laughs> I'm obviously exaggerating but Hideaki Kobayakawa is basically a walking living medical kit okay uh, for example let's check his uh, third R2 his third R2 lets him replenish not only his health, but also his Basara in Stylish Gauge. Okay. As you can see, I'm healthy already and my Basara is just rising. You know, so... Hideaki is super, super useful guy. And he's uh, my least favorite character just because I don't enjoy playing as him. But I'm not denying the fact that he is really useful and you basically can't lose if you if you know how to play as him you know so yeah despite despite being jerk no he's he's not jerk he's nice but he's a wimp yeah that's the word he's total wimp and who who does like to play as wimpy characters i for sure I, i'm i don't so yeah, uh, that's Hideaki Kobayakawa in a nutshell for me, uh, he's number 40 because he's just a wimp, yeah, he's just a wimp and he is, to be honest, kinda annoying. So yeah, that's, that's my take on uh, Hideaki Kobayakawa, uh, tell me what you think about Hideaki Kobayakawa, do you like him, do you find him funny? Or yeah, tell me what you think about this this guy, and also tell me who is your number forty. Yeah, like I'm I'm doing I'm doing these videos because I I genuinely care about uh, your opinion. I would really love to know how each character stands among people, you know. So yeah. Next time uh, we will talk about somebody else and I'm not gonna spoil who it will be. So until that I'll see you guys next time and Hideaki please say goodbye. Oh Hideaki where are your manners? <laughs> okay so next time I bid you farewell.